Okay, this is the hothotsoftware.com add text to image and text watermarking for images software. It's actually a really convenient software because if you have a large number of images, as pretty much everybody does nowadays, uh, sometimes you might want to claim ownership of it. So if someone copies the images or shares them with friends and so forth, you know uh, whose they are. Also, if you have any kind of business, usually it's a good idea to have your website URL in the corner of uh, the picture because then again, you get credit for that. And uh, then if someone sends it to a friend and so forth, uh, then they know whose it is and they'll visit your website, can get extra traffic, extra sales and so forth. Uh, so anyways, what you do uh, to get started is you click on the Add Files button here. Uh, right now we're using a sample penguin picture which is something that comes with Microsoft Windows. Uh, so I just click on that. By the way, this is the picture that we'll be adding text to. And uh, then I just choose the text that I want. So I might say copyright myself and my website Dot com. Of course, uh, you would put in your own website or your own copyright information and so forth. Here, you can choose where you want it. So let's put it in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, if I did have a customer-specific location, I could do that as well. Uh, so for example, if you wanted it 20 pixels down or something like that. But for now, we're just going to use this because it's a lot more convenient. This is the color of the text. This is the background. Uh, and this is the font that you want to use. For now, we're just going to use the default font. Uh, and uh, then you would check this box if you wanted to output files to a particular directory. So for example, if you were searching for a thousand pictures all across your hard drive and you just wanted to output them into a folder called New Pictures, then you would check mark this. Otherwise, by default, the software will uh, save the pictures to the original location. So if you had something like family vacations, and then you had something like my personal pictures, etc., etc., it would save the new pictures in each of those individual directories. Um, this is if you want to use the same extension, uh, which, uh, again, you may or may not want to. And this is the folder that you would output new files to. This is the JPEG quality. Uh, by default, I stick with 95 because if you go with anything less, sometimes uh, the picture won't look that great, but it'll be a smaller size. Anyways, once you're finished, you click on the Add Custom Text to these pictures. And I'll just use the copyright myself. Uh, click this button and processing complete and that was really really fast so now we're going into the paint program we click on open open the new picture and you notice now you have this copyright myself now let's have some fun and let's make it a bigger image so we change the font here let's make it this and let's make it uh, 36 okay and say this is my picture. And let's do that in the upper left hand corner. And let's change the color to, let's say, well, that's a nice blue. Let's try green this time. So we go green. And again, we just click on Add Custom Text to the Images, press a button, boom, processing complete. That was really, really fast. Load in the new picture. And you notice now it says this is my picture right at the top. So this is really, really great software because it's very convenient to use. It can easily process tens, hundreds, or thousands of pictures. And uh, all you have to do is click a button. And then uh, you have your copyright information within each picture. And uh, yeah, so then you get the proper credit and so forth. So, if you want to get the software, uh, you should go to the hothotsoftware.com website. You can look at this Add Text to Image and test Text Watermarking for Images. Search for that title, or you can click the link below uh, in the description tag, and it'll take you right to it. So, enjoy!